Hey folks, so I'm doing this experiment and I'm doing that experiment with this C14 telescope. Ever since I got this big telescope, my question really is, besides like taking pictures of planets, how do you maybe take the pictures of deep space objects using this telescope. So in my initial attempt, I took a picture of the pillars of creation and it came out amazingly great. But I know like the pain that I took to take the picture and whenever I try to focus using the C14 telescope, I can see it, but when I try to take a picture, I can take it, but the stars are going to trail a little bit because you are like in a complete zoom, no focal reducer, right? I get star trails. If I get take a couple of pictures and then I try to stack it, the, the stacking process won't even recognize the stars in my picture. I have all sorts of issues. So now I'm trying the same thing. The reason why I can try now, confidently I'm thinking, is the setup that you are seeing here is a state-of-the-art setup. I don't think I ever actually tried. I'll, I'll show you guys. The setup that I'm showing you now is really state-of-the-art setup. This is Optic Leo Focuser. It is one of the best focusers that we have on the market today. And this is off-axis glider. It is called Sagita and it is from Optic. And that one along with the Lodestar X2 off-axis glider will give me the guiding that I need using this telescope. And then I have a QHY CFW3 filter wheel. It has 55 millimeter filters, like much bigger filters than the two inch. And they hold like seven filters. And then this camera here is QHY 600 monochrome. This one is a full frame monochrome camera. Of course, I have the C14 and then the Orion HDX 110 mount. So the experiment that I wanted to do today is go full focal length, take a picture or maybe take few pictures, actually stack the picture and actually see it. If I'm successful with that experiment, I'll be extremely happy and I'll show you the results. Once these clouds are gone, the deep space object I wanted to try is Trifid Nebula. Trifid Nebula is in Sagittarius constellation. It is approximately 4,100 light years from the Earth. And the size of this nebula is so small, it is like 0 0.20, like one fifth of an arc minute. So this big scope, 3810 focal length, and a full frame camera is going to fill the entire camera. And with this new setup, I may be able to resolve the stars and should be able to take a picture of it. The guiding is going extremely well. I don't see a trouble. So this is my camera settings. So this is for the QHY 600. I'm running in photographic mode. You see the DSO gain and offset. I did connected my focuser, filter wheel and the telescope. I'm using the green sky server for the telescope. 
it's kind of a new program i'll go into the details later in some other video but i'm noticing whole bunch of clouds i don't know if i'm able to take any pictures the clouds already started coming in i may have like 10 to 20 minutes so i might end up getting just a black and white picture but my experiment is to see if i can get stars and if i can stack it so as soon as i saw the picture when it downloaded i knew i got something really big i never saw so many stars using c14 and most of the stars even though they are a little bit bloated because of c14 you are using 3910 focal length I'm super happy that it actually shows that many stars in that one-fifth of an arc minute field of view. Think of that is, it's like a tiny thing, you know, you can put a needle in front of your eyes and probably that represents maybe that or even less. That's the sky that I'm taking a picture of. So I'm super excited to see this image. I'll stack at least these luminance 10 pictures and I'll show you guys. Whenever it is not cloudy, I should be able to take a color picture of it. Thanks for watching.